Happy New Year, friends. Well, the calendar has finally flipped, and 2020, that crazy year, is behind us. We've begun a new year. For many people, New Year's is just another holiday. A time to sleep in, a day off, too much eating, drinking, staying up late. But for Christians, New Year's should remind us of the new birth that we can experience. In a sense, each day with Jesus is a chance to turn the page on an old way of life and embrace a new one. After all, we are a new creation people, and we serve a king who renews us daily with his Holy Spirit. This is the first Sunday of 2021, a brand new year. What better way to rededicate ourselves to God's great mission than our annual harp and bowl service? Prayer, reading scripture, singing, communion, and yes, space for you to do some introspective soul work too. And so the way this is going to work this morning is, yes, there will be singing and the lyrics will be on the screen, so please do join in. And um, Gavin will be reading a number of scripture passages, and those also will be on the screen so that you can follow along. Throughout this service, there will be a slide that comes up that will be for your time of reflective prayer. So um, that slide will be up for about a minute. And you know what? If you need longer than that, if you'd like a little bit longer, feel free to just pause the video and take the time to really give um, the question some thought and to really prayerfully respond to the Lord. Some things that you might like to have with you as you get started today, um, you might like to have your Bible with you. Uh, you probably won't be able to keep up uh, finding all the passages as we go through them, but you might find one or two that you really just want to spend some time with. You might like to have a journal or a pen and a paper if you like to write out your prayers in a journal form or or if you just want to have something handy in case the Lord reveals something to you that you want to write down, it would be good to have that with you. As Gavin mentioned, we will be celebrating communion. And so um, if you haven't already prepared yourself by gathering up some bread and some grape juice, feel free to pause the video and go and grab that stuff now. And then come back to us, press play again, uh, throw a blanket over yourself, find the comfiest spot of your couch, and just be ready to receive what God has for you today and to just really enjoy this time with the Lord. Friends, why don't we pray? Lord, it is the end of one year and the beginning of a new one. And Lord, new beginnings. All of us, Lord, um, want those new beginnings. All of us uh, need them. And Lord, in you, we find that you do make all things new and you are making and restoring this world and us included. Oh Lord, in this time, as we think about the gift of repentance, as we think about the way in which, Lord, you constantly are shaping and molding us into the image of your Son, Lord, we are so grateful for this chance to just take a few moments and, and ponder and to think about and, Lord, to rededicate ourselves to you and what you want to do in us and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, our service is divided into four, and the first segment is called Remember. At this time of year, we're bombarded with messages of reorganization, uh, renewing our bodies, dropping bad habits, self-empowerment, self-improvement. 2020 reminded us about the tenuousness of our existence, the fragility of human life. Every breath is a miracle given to us by our Creator. Because every new season is a marker of God's grace, the proper response to the past year isn't, oh, thankfully that's over with, I survived, or look what I achieved, but rather, thank you, Lord. Isaiah 46 says, Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever. 
enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. First Chronicles 29, praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Therefore, holy brothers and sisters who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, whom we acknowledge as our apostle and high priest. He was faithful to the one who appointed him, just as Moses was faithful in all God's house. Jesus has been found worthy of greater honor than Moses, 
just as the builder of a house has greater honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Our second segment is repent. Beginning the new year with repentance is to draw closer to Jesus, to discover the fresh grace that is ours in him. That's why confession always brings relief and joy. It is the gateway to deeper connection 
and deeper friendship with God. Friends, how can we begin plans for a new year, 2021, uh, without first allowing God's light to penetrate the darkness of our hearts and to reveal areas that need growth and repair? Our reflections in this section will lead us to communion. Psalm 69 says, You, O God, know my folly. My guilt is not hidden from you. Psalm 40, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me.
1 Timothy chapter 1. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord.
just a few moments, the reflection slide will direct us in terms of communion. In 1 Peter chapter 1, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us.
Our third segment is Renew. The bridge between repentance and renewal is the cross, which brings us back to the important things, the fundamental things. You know, commitments to marriage, to friends, family, and the church don't always feel or look significant. But faithfulness in these core relationships over a long period of time is a radical countercultural thing. They form the habits of a disciple and they show the world what it looks like to be a follower of Jesus. In Isaiah 30 it says, This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says, In repentance and rest is your salvation, in quietness and trust is your strength, but you would have none of it. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you, therefore he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him.
Isaiah 41, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace and to help us in our time of need. Our fourth and final segment is rest. Rest isn't a sign of laziness or weakness, 
Rather, it's a necessary sign of spiritual health. It's having the spiritual strength and confidence to step away, to recreate, to Sabbath, to enjoy God's good gifts, because we know that our lives are in the grip of a good and sovereign God. To rest in our identity in Christ and to refresh ourselves physically, emotionally, and spiritually is to demonstrate that we are not God and that his world can go on without us for a time. Matthew 11, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. chapter 3. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Jesus said, remain in me as I also remain in you. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, 
you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Remember, repent, renew, and rest. Well, friends, we trust this time has been good for you and an appropriate way to start off this new year. Let's remember in 2021, in all our wins and losses, we serve the one who has created, redeemed, and sustains us. 
We make plans, but we hold them lightly. We entrust this coming year, our present and future, to the King who holds our world in His hands. Let's pray. Lord, we do praise you for all you've done. And Lord, we do want to entrust you with our plans, our hopes, our fears, our dreams, all the things, Lord, that we envision for this coming year. Lord, we, we trust you and we put those in your hands. Lord, we, we see in, on this first Sunday of 2021, thus far you have brought us, Lord. You have been with us. And Lord, we pray that we would see your hand uh, in everything that we do as you go before us this coming year. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, God bless you this week. Thank you.